Hey everyone, Vitaly here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a breakdown in my personal thoughts with the Viator affiliate program. I recently started promoting offers from Viator, and if you want to start doing the same, you have to sign up with an affiliate network called ShareSale, which it's connected to. I personally did that, and here's some of the reports. It's currently nothing because it's only recently that I started promoting stuff, but if you know me and you've been to my channel before, you know I do affiliate marketing for a living through other kinds of affiliate networks. Here's one, here's another one, here's another one over here. Here's Here's another one that's not affiliate marketing related, but I do make a full-time income online, mainly through affiliate marketing, and I have a lot of experience with this stuff, and I only recently started adding a new branch to it, which is through Viator, and I'm going to give you all of the details, my thoughts and experiences with it, so you can help, uh, so to help you make a good decision as to whether or not this is a good program for you or not, or whether there's better alternatives. So before I get started with that, let me just quickly say that as I just explained, I do affiliate marketing for a living, and you can check out my channel for more video content on all the sort of stuff. I cover a wide range of topics within the affiliate marketing world. You're welcome to check that out. But if you are new or struggling and you need help with affiliate marketing, my top recommendation is to check out the resource link below in the description and pinned comment of this video. It showcases the program that taught me everything that I know about affiliate marketing and got me to where I'm in this business today where I do it full time. And it has a lot of success stories. It's free to get started with and it'll help you build an affiliate marketing business on something that you're passionate about. So that out of the way, let me get back to the whole subject of the Viator affiliate program, which as I explained is part of ShareSale. But before I explain how that works, let me just give you a quick overview. So Viator itself is basically a huge travel website and with Viator it's uh, basically a program, a program, a website where you can um, book flights, hotels, uh, tickets, private tours, tours in general in different places that you go to and a lot of people use this website and um, I only recently started promoting it. I have a website where I basically talk about different places to visit uh, and in those places I kind of promote hotels, different tours and all that kind of stuff and Viator has been so far pretty good in providing me with a list of different offers that I can promote. And overall, moving forward, if you, like I said before, if you want to be an, a Viator affiliate, you have to sign up with ShareSale. And ShareSale is one of the most uh, renowned affiliate networks that's out there. It's also one of the oldest. And so when you sign up with ShareSale, there is a long application process. And then after you sign up and hopefully get approved, you have to uh, sign up with Viator from within. So for example, when I go into the merchants area, you'll notice that Viator is here and I can click on get links to get the links for them, uh, the, the affiliate links. Now, the thing about Viator, which I like, which is also something that's similar in other networks, is that you can get affiliate links for any page, pretty much any page on Viator. So for example, if I type in the name of a location like, uh, let's say, Nova Scotia or something, which is a province in uh, Canada and things to do there, you'll see that there's a lot of different things that I can promote. So the thing is, I can promote these individual offers over here, or I can actually um, uh, b uh, promote this entire page. So let's say I create a blog post about, about the best things to do in Nova Scotia. I could send people straight to this page so they can decide for themselves. Now I can also sort the offers that I get where it says from by clicking on featured and looking at price high to low. So then I can promote more high ticket offers. So this one right here, 993, that could be something that I can promote individually or perhaps on the page itself. Now, if I wanted to promote this page itself, I just go to the URL over here. I click on copy. I go back into the affiliate area where it says get links. I scroll down to where it says custom link tool. I click on that. And then after I click on that, I will paste the website. I will click on create custom link. And then I can actually get this link over here, which is the very long version, or I can click on get short link and that'll give me this, which is this link. And obviously I can put that into a website, a blog post, a uh, Pinterest uh, board, some kind of uh, social media post, a YouTube uh, description page and send people there from that. So that's how the process of promoting uh, Viator affiliate offers works. Now, uh, pros and cons, generally speaking, um, Viator is a well-established website, so when people land on Viator, uh, they will just have a lot of different, uh, there, there's a brand name to it, basically. 
basically. So people are more trust trusting of the company itself. So when they land here, they're much more likely to buy things. Number two, there's a lot of different things to promote, especially if you're in the travel niche. So there's a lot of opportunity there. There's also really, really high ticket stuff that you can promote, like this example right here that I just showed you. You can even go broad by clicking on one of the uh, breadcrumbs over here. That's what they're called, these categories, like things to do in Canada. I would click on this, things to do in Nova Scotia, promote different types of pages. There's just so many things you can, again, you can promote this entire page itself, or you can promote these individual offers. And Viator also does a great job of upselling with other things to do. So if you book, let's say one of these, they'll also suggest other things that you can book as well. So you as an affiliate can get more sales without having to do more selling. So that's a really, really good thing. Um, generally speaking, I think that summarizes the pros in general. Getting the affiliate links is not that difficult. I just showed you how that's done. Now, in terms of the cons, um, you do have to go through an application process with share a sale first. And so that might be a little time consuming, but it's one of those important obstacles that you have to cross. And I, I do recommend, like I normally talk about in when I talk about different affiliate networks is before you sign up, make sure you have some sort of platform that gets traffic. So whether that be a YouTube channel, whether that be a website, whether that be some kind of social media page, make sure that it actually gets uh, visitors traffic. And I'm not talking about bots or garbage traffic. I'm talking about real people, high quality traffic, because you will have to submit this information to share a sale to have a chance of getting approved. There's no guarantee that you will, but it increases your chances basically. And then once you sign up and you get approved with share sale, you can uh, register with Viator from within share sale and start promoting their offers. Now in terms of the other cons, there's only one more that I've so far noticed. And that is that the options of what you can promote in Viator are not as vast as let, let's say TripAdvisor. So Trip Advisor is actually something that I did a video on recently. I more readily promote offers through TripAdvisor so far, and that's connected to the Commission Junction program. And the difference with, uh, let's say, Viator versus TripAdvisor is that TripAdvisor has a lot more offers. It has an easier time to create an, uh, an affiliate link. It has more uh, user engagement where you can actually see what people talk about, what they suggest. So there's much more interactivity. So for example, if I look at Nova Scotia, so far from most of the places that I've seen, if I compare Viator to let's say TripAdvisor, I will see more options offered in TripAdvisor than Viator. So, so far, depending on the circumstance, most of the time I will promote TripAdvisor offers and hotels versus Viator offers and hotels and whatever else, because th there's just more options in TripAdvisor and there's more reviews. So there's much more, I would say, on the surface, it's easier to promote TripAdvisor offers than Viator, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Viator is still a great option to do business with as an affiliate. But that's just something that I've noticed. I'm just sharing this with you. You can promote both offers. So for example, the main website where I promote um, hotels and all that kind of stuff. Yes, I promote mostly TripAdvisor stuff, but there's circumstances where, where it's warranted, I will promote Viator offers. So I'm an affiliate for one and I'm an affiliate for the other. And whatever is warranted for that situation, I'll promote one or the other, or maybe on one single page where I, let's talk about, maybe I talk about the best things to do in Nova Scotia. I will promote maybe a few affiliate links to TripAdvisor and maybe one or two to uh, Viator, depending on the situation. So you don't have to necessarily go with one or the other. You can mix it up, diversify, depending on what the situation situation is. Um, now that pretty much summarizes everything I wanted to get across. And in terms of legitimacy, Viator is huge. And uh, it's a legitimate site. It's a legitimate program that's connected to an affiliate network that's also legitimate shares, share sale. I will uh, talk about that in a separate video, the uh, network itself. But overall, I have to say that so far, I'm pretty happy. Yes, I'm not doing uh, much right now because I only recently started promoting Viator offers. But I've done this, I've been in this business for so long that I just know how this works. It takes time for things to get uh, rolling, uh, but because uh, I do make uh, an income as an affiliate from other multi from other networks, and so generally speaking, Viator is great, Share Sales is great. I do recommend it. I did also give you a, a bunch of other alternative options out there, the TripAdvisor being the main one. So that's something for you to consider, and that really summarizes everything I wanted to get across with the Viator affiliate program. I do hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them below in the comments section. And once again, I'm going to finish off the video by saying that if you are interested in learning affiliate marketing, you're new, you're struggling, perhaps you need help, check out that resource that I left the link to in the description of the video. It'll showcase the number one recommendation that I used to learn affiliate marketing, to do it for a living like I do today. It has a lot of success stories. It's free to get started with, and it'll help you build an affiliate business on something that you're passionate about. So thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.